thesis and antithesis. The thesis and antithesis locked in a mortal combat, intertwined like a snake and a crane in a timeless dance of death, of death that never comes to light, as the opponents keep the other vigilant by day, by night, through every breath and every pulse of the universe, they unfold and animate with their fight, and their mortal grapple vibrates in stalemate, sending waves of love through the universe, as Thesis has his power preserved in antithesis and vice versa. The never-ending ring, a humming voice of a tense bowstring, the voice of love that penetrates all living beings from galaxies to atoms and beyond. As mighty thesis digs into the antithesis flesh with its agile, sneaky roots, with its mycelia of sprightly limbs, his never-ending penetrating force continues to strain the antithesis. And antithesis being ever-present as ether in infinitesimal voids between the naughty tentacles of her adversary, the thesis, engulfing and embracing all the growth of thesis and bearing a reason for thesis to thrive, yet one cannot exist without the other, as they are so much in love that either both exist or none, the yin yang. And intermittent local victories are only an illusion. The only real danger in this world is to encase in absolutes and to proclaim a lasting triumph of thesis over antithesis or full defeat of thesis by the antithesis. Deception is the waves that ripple on the surfaces of the lens that the observer holds in place. Thus, their battle is the only way for both to be and to remain in love, to give us day and night, to give us solid ground to stand, to give us warmth, to bring us harmony and insight.